Howdy neighbors, Roger at Weathering Heights. Well, we're looking at uh, the next storm system incoming with uh, much warmer temperatures across our neck of the woods, and this is going to be moving in over the course of uh, really into Thursday. We have some colder air that's moved in since last night and actually produced a little bit of dusting to about a half inch of snow in some of the areas, the highlands of the Northeast Kingdom most especially, and uh, other locations uh, as well as in the central and northern Green Mountains. But uh, this is going to be melting out pretty quick today for what should be a dry day, but a lot of clouds hanging tough. You can see the temperature regime. This is our next area of low pressure that's going to be tracking toward the Great Lakes. It's going to spread in this uh, frontal boundary, producing the precipitation in the form of rain here. That's going to be uh, moving in, it looks like, during the last half of tomorrow afternoon. All right, folks, so we're looking at uh, this uh, little skirmish of some lake effect streamers that are going to be working in after this weather system you see marching uh, north of the Great Lakes and almost into James Bay, Canada, 992 millibars. And you can see the rain showers getting in here for tomorrow afternoon. Then on the tail end of that, we see the cooler air. That's what these uh, blue lines uh, indicate here. This is a lower thickness values, and that means colder air aloft, and it will be cold enough to snow. This is a, a typical lake effect signature. Um, lake Ontario supplying a plume here. It looks like this is coming off Lake Michigan. Uh, lake Huron, for example, uh, downwind of uh, Lake Ontario. Erie doesn't have anything going on, but we'll take a look at that and kind of run this back and forth just a bit. And this is what we're going to get this weekend. You see those lake effect plumes? They're like beards hanging sort of downwind uh, uh, as uh, cold air works over the Great Lakes, and the lakes are pretty warm, so that interaction is going to bring some moisture across and into Vermont. You can see a little bit of lake effect. And you notice it's a little bit more centered near the uh, northern part of the state as opposed to the southern part of the state. So then it shuts off roughly, it looks like, uh, by uh, Sunday morning as a ridge of higher pressure works on in. And just keeping a look at that, uh, looks like we warm up. And yes, another warm scenario right here. So that's a Tuesday of next week, followed by a little cool down, but then a general warming. And there's your big push of rain. That's going to happen, unfortunately. It looks like uh, that's into uh, the day before Christmas Eve, but some pretty warm weather, and it, this area of higher pressure is a lot of the culprit, and it just continues to warm up with troughs of low pressure out west. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights.